the side today we are going to see a simple south indian traditional kheer called pal kolakottai for this you will be needing rice flour salt coconut milk i'm using the tinned one you can use the fresh one milk ghee jaggery you can uh, substitute jaggery with sugar boiling water and a pot of cardamom so the ratio of rice flour to jaggery is if you take one cup of rice flour you will need about uh, three fourth cup of jaggery to the rice flour i'm just adding about a pinch of salt and uh, add little boiling water at a time you'll need about uh, four tablespoons of water for a cup of uh, rice flour so just adding little by little you, uh, you just mix the flour into a dough make sure you don't burn your hands uh, that's why i'm using a spoon here in the start so once you are able to handle the hot dough you can start uh, using your hand for uh, bringing the dough into a, a ball shape so initially just use the spoon to bring everything together once it's able to tolerate the hotness use your clean hands and bring everything together as you can see i'm just bringing the dough together and then you just see if everything is forming into a single ball so once that is done you'll have to start making small balls of these rice dough so this is a very uh, authentic traditional recipe from south india where uh, the kheer itself is uh, prepared for prasadams during any puja especially offered to lord ganesha instead of the modakams which has the same ingredients like the coconut jaggery and rice flour here you are just making a different form of the kheer so first you can just take a little ghee on your palms and start rolling small roundels like this you can decide the size generally it's a small uh, uh, gooseberry sized uh, balls that we make or you can also make even smaller ones if you have a lot of patience or you can make a little bigger ones as well it's up to your preferences generally i make it in this uh, size all the rice flour dough is now turned into small balls like this this is a very instant uh, recipe that can be uh, made within like half an hour if you have all the ingredients ready especially the coconut uh, milk if you have the tinned version then it's just a easy cake work uh, wherein you just have to bring everything together and uh, on one uh, gas stove you can just keep the simmer uh, kheer and it will be done in no time when you're making the other part of the prasadam ready like if you're making a menu for a particular puja day then this is a easy kheer to be made so as you can see you have all the uh, rounds ready in a pan just take about half a uh, glass of water and add in the round dough roundels and to this add the normal milk i'm just adding about another half a glass here just to immerse the rice dough dumplings or the this thing and it will start boiling and uh, once it starts boiling the rice dough dumplings start to float on the top you can add in the cardamom seeds directly or you can also add the cardamom uh, if you have the powder you can add a pinch of the powder also so now the milk has come to a boil and you can see that the dough has started to float at top that means it's been cooked through so at this point what i'm going to do is i'll be checking for the rice dough if it's being cooked just allowing it to 
come to a boil. Just give a touch if it's going to be hot. Just make sure you are it's spongy. That means it is cooked through. So add the jaggery. You can just adjust the sweetness according to your family needs. Like generally, we don't consume too sweet cheese. So I just add in a little less. If you don't have powdered jaggery, it, you can also make a syrup of the jaggery that you have, powder it and add it into a little water, strain it to remove the impurities. I'm using uh, pure organic jaggery powder here, so I just added it directly. So bring it to a boil again and then add in the coconut milk. I've just transferred the coconut milk from the uh, can to the jar and I'm just adding it here. I've used the light version. You can also use the thick cream of uh, coconut here and once you've added everything keep it on a low flame and bring it to another boil it will take just about a minute or so and your kheer will be delicious yummy and I guarantee you for that kids would love this because of the flavor of the cardamom as you can see it's come to a boil now switch off the flame and transfer it to a serving bowl make this yummy paisam or kheer for the next puja top it with a little grated coconut